All right, I want to show that uh, if the real line is complete, which is one of the assumptions we make on it, then you get the Archimedean property for free. The Archimedean property is implied by completeness. So that we're going to go through this argument now. What is the Archimedean property? It says that if you take an arbitrary real number and a positive real number, that real number that you pick, this x, is smaller than a positive integer times a for some natural number n, positive integer n. Well, suppose it doesn't happen. So no such n can be found, and no such a, and you have a positive a, and there's no such n that will make this happen. Well, then you could look at the set n times a, where n is a positive integer. And this set would have to be bounded above by x. See, because uh, nothing in the set is ever bigger than x, so x is bigger than or equal to all these things. So therefore, if I divide through by a, I find an upper bound for all of the positive integers. n is less than or equal to x over a for all n. Now, if I assume that the real line is complete, then there exists a least upper bound to this set s. And uh, therefore, there exists a positive integer m such that l minus 1 fourth is less than or equal to m less than or equal to l. Now you see, if that were not the case, then L wouldn't really be the least upper bound, would it? You could use this for an upper bound, and it would be smaller than this one. So now you just look at M plus 1. Well, M plus 1 is at least as big as L minus a fourth plus 1, and that's L plus 3 fourths, and that's bigger than L. So now L failed to be an upper bound. So we've derived a contradiction from assuming that the Archimedean property does not hold. Therefore, it can't be the case that the real line fails to have the Archimedean property.